Matt Damon where did it all go wrong? Well, almost everywhere. Damon is currently the focus of a mixture of derision, anger and disbelief after he made, in the space of three days, multiple boneheaded comments on sexual harassment. At some point between these tone-deaf interventions his Goodwill Hunting co-star, and a former girlfriend, Minnie Driver, helpfully pointed out where he was going wrong. And yet, instead of taking a seat to reflect on her critique, Damon came splashing back into a lake of ignorance like a dog who repeatedly forgets he is not good at swimming. First, Damon waded in to say that sexual harassment exists on a spectrum, and that there's a difference between patting someone on the butt and rape. On the face of it, this is clearly true, and something that women have also said, but Damon is too ignorant, how? Still, to realize that being patted on the butt a thousand times by bosses, male friends, colleagues, and strangers, is an insidious invasion of personal space and an exhausting erasure of individuality. Death by a thousand cuts. As Driver put it, men cannot understand what abuse is like on a daily level. He also doesn't seem to realize that literally nobody is crying out for Matt Damon's opinion on this. As Driver also said, it's calling when a powerful man steps up and starts dictating the terms. In total, he has spoken about this topic no fewer than three times. Forgive me, Matt, but I think not being harassed should be a baseline expectation, and not something to be deified for. I don't offer a round of applause to the man at the bus stop who doesn't comment on my ass. And I am not about to start. Damon is also guilty of the trope of men declaring themselves feminists after having daughters, as if the well-being of human women otherwise didn't matter. Good one, guys super grateful. It's good to know that someone being called a whore doesn't raise hackles if it isn't your mother, daughter, aunt, or sister who is the target. When Damon came onto the scene in the late 90s, he was part of a gang of up-and-comers, including the Affleck brothers. If he doubts the widespread issue of male toxicity, then he could do well to remember that Ben Affleck has since had to apologize for groping a presenter, and his brother Casey Affleck has been accused of multiple sexual assaults, which he denies. Meanwhile, Damon has been the epitome of East Coast liberal. He made much of his background and upbringing, his mother was a college professor and his father a stockbroker, he attended Harvard, and has sold himself as a good egg even establishing a non-profit to provide clean drinking water. His outspoken liberalness even had Michael Moore suggesting a presidential run. Since then, Damon has become the perfect example of a phrase I coined last month, when right-on men were being unearthed as rats at the rate of one tail a minute, no woke without fire. It's the kind of unwokeness in plain sight that was illuminated in Jordan Peele's Get Out.